Hi, in this video I will show you how to use a plugin for Blender to export an OBJ scene for the Nori rendering system. In here you can see the source tree of the Nori renderer. The plugin is placed in the X directory under plugins and you have to copy this file to the Blender directory. We have to use Blender 2.79 because the newest version doesn't work with the plugin. And you place it into the main directory, scripts, add-ons, and here you can see it. After that, we can start Blender and we have to activate the plugin Just click here to enable and when this is done, let's close this again, we have file, export, not a scene. Right, but I also want to show you some other things. Let's delete this object for now and file, import an OBJ. I have downloaded the San Miguel scene and we will try to import the non-low low poly version. You see it's one gigabyte of uh, data and it, this will take it some time. Oh, here we go. Right, we have a nice scene. Oh, and one more thing that I wanted to show you. When you import an OBJ, you have some options in here. These defaults work. It doesn't work, work for instance, when you click here on Keep Vertex Order, uh, then all of the object uh, will become one group in here and the export will fail. So just keep the defaults. Okay, uh, now we want to move the camera into a nice place. But since there is a lot of geometry, we can switch here, in, no, here into wireframe. We can press 7 on the keypad to have a view from the top. I now press 5 to have the view orthographic. And with shift, middle mouse, I can move this whole thing. Uh, there is still the uh, light left. This is a point light. We will not be able to use it uh, with Nori, at least not uh, at Theovin, because we don't have point lights. So we will delete it. Then we have the camera. No. Uh, the camera will also be exported to the Nori XML format. I will move it over here. Uh, that was G and moving. Uh, I press R and I rotate. And now I press 1 on the uh, numpad to switch the view. R again to rotate and I move it a bit down. Now I press 0 on the numpad and I'll switch to the camera. What we wa now also want to do is increase the focal length. Maybe this. And we can rotate again here with R. This should be approximately OK. Now we want to test this whole thing with cycles. In order to switch to the cycles renderer, you have to go over here. So Cycles is the Blender path tracer and we want to use it in order to test whether our, our camera placement and later the light placements uh, will be correct. So first thing is to switch to Cycles in here. Then uh, we have some settings, uh, image size over here. We have the number of samples over here. I'll reduce this so that uh, the rendering is quicker. And we would also have 
um, some the number of bounces we can also reduce this to one uh, which I think is direct lighting right and now I press F12 to test it okay what we see in here top left this is the sky it's gray because it's the gray background and this is the only thing that is illuminating the scene right now I press escape I move the mouse to exit the camera so this is again middle mouse button and uh, what I want to do now is add a plane uh, I pressed spacebar to search um, add plane and you can also use these to move it I move it way up and uh, here you can select the orientation and we select normal uh, so this will now show us the normal of the plane we want the normal to look down on the scene um, I press 1 again to have a side view R this is about 180 degrees and we can also change the default action mode Okay, but this doesn't help. Okay, doesn't need to be that pre precise. And we move it a bit to the side so that the, our light is not straight from the top. Um, and also a bit to the side here. And we rotate it so that our normal points towards our scene. Okay, now we want to make this a light. For that we have to go to the material. We make a new material. And uh, here is the type of the BSDF. And we have an emission BSDF. And we can make the color slightly warmer. because this will, our, uh, this will be our sun and the sun is slightly yellow. So let's render this again. And we see there is almost no difference. This is be because the strength is uh, too weak. Let's try something like 5000. Okay, now we see that it's, uh, we see the shadow of the light. Um, maybe make it even a bit stronger and okay that looks good but we still have the gray uh, the gray sky and uh, with uh, our setup with Nori you could do two things you could uh, assign a certain sky color to every uh, ray that missed an object by default I think this is zero so it would be black um, but you could assign just any color what you, we could also do is first place our um, cursor somewhere in the middle I have uh, n 3d cursor zero 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 and now we can add a sphere let's make an ecosphere we scale it up a bit so that it's larger than our sun which is somewhere over here we go to the side we select tab um, with a you can select either everything or nothing with b you can select things down here and I press delete and I'm deleting the vertices. So now we only have the upper half of our sky dome. Uh, we press again A to select everything. Uh, and I think shading, normals, 
flip directions. This is because the normals from the sky should uh, look inside, not outwards. If we select faces here and just one face, we see the normal is looking towards the scene. Okay, we press Tab again to exit, new material again, emission BSDF again, color, this will be sky, so let's make it blue. And uh, what's important in here for the cycles renderer is to disable uh, multiple imp important sampling. Otherwise, uh, most of the rays will try to reach the sky dome and almost none would go to the uh, sun. Okay, now we see that it's, um, there is a blue tone. This is coming from the light but the sky is not blue. Uh, this is just a detail. Uh, we select camera and this is the clipping. We have to increase the clipping distance to 1000 and now it should work. All right, uh, let's say this is looking good. Now we want to export this thing to Nori. Oh, and um, one more thing. In here we have materials, um, texture, we have materials but only in the blender render I think, correct. So the materials were imported correctly to blender but uh, they are in a format that is not uh, that doesn't work with the cycles renderer and the blender render doesn't uh, support the same um, area light sources from simple meshes as cycles does um, but anyways our uh, exporter uh, doesn't export the materials so it anyway doesn't matter um, because we couldn't export them if you want to do something like this, you would probably have to extend the cycles, uh, the, the blender exporter, or do some other manual tweaking. Right, uh, one more thing. Uh, I already know the scene, and I know that there are some polygons which are, um, which have more than three vertices, and the Nori exporter doesn't work with those. So, what we want to do is add a modifier. Modifiers of, are over here. We add the triangulate modifier. Now this was added just to this one object, but we can select all of the objects with A and then press Ctrl L. And a menu opens and we select modifier. Now this takes forever again but you will see that all the modifiers appeared in here. Okay, now we can file export, uh, file export Nordic scene. Export Nordic scene. And again, uh, this takes some time because uh, it exports all of the objects into OBJ format and in addition it uh, also creates a XML scene file and this is a lot of uh, string processing. We can watch the progress in here and please do because in, in one case I, there was some sort of bug and I got uh, hundreds of files, 500 megabytes each and I had to abort because, well, I didn't want to fill up my whole partition. Also, I will show, when Blender shows again, I can show you where you can find logs. Okay, if there were some errors in uh, the export, we would see them in here. But everything went fine, so now I will uh, show you that the scene works. 
Uh, right. Uh, we right now we only have the uh, normals renderer, and so we have to change the integrator. This is easy enough. Okay, here we go. Oh, and for Theovin people, uh, this is the reference solution of uh, Naughty. And so the normals are rendered not as we would expect it from our Theovin uh, assignment sheets. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening and uh, see you soon.